Israel didn't initiate this conflict. We were attacked in an unprovoked manner by the Hamas terrorist organization that fired 4,000 rockets into our capital and into our cities. No country will sit aside when it's attacked in such a criminal fashion. Israel is no different. But we did do something different. We were fighting terrorists who are hiding among civilians in one of the most densely populated places on Earth. They were firing rockets on our civilians while using their civilians as human shields. We did everything in our power to prevent civilian casualties, unnecessary casualties of non-combatants, while trying to attack the combatants who are trying to murder our citizens. We regret every loss of life, but I can tell you categorically, there is no army in the world that acts in a more moral fashion than the Army of Israel. I want to thank President Joe Biden, a friend of many years, who stood by Israel throughout this conflict. He expressed clearly, unreservedly, America's support for Israel's right of self-defense. And I am also grateful to President Biden for offering to uh, help replenish our stocks of missile interceptors that's so important to saving Israeli lives and coincidentally, Palestinian lives. Without Iron Dome, we would have uh, had to have a ground invasion of Gaza to stop the firing of missiles and the casualty list would have soared to stratospheric heights. So thank you, President Biden. And thank you, too, for the many leaders around the world who have stood by Israel. They know how to distinguish so clearly between a democracy that cherishes life and a terrorist organization that glorifies death. I think that distinction and that support is crucial for our common future. Thank you.